Today we're going to be talking about how to start drawing your paper still life. One thing I want to talk about is paying attention to the angles that are contained in your still life. And an important word comes to mind. It's called foreshortening. Foreshortening is the art of depicting shapes as they change in space, frequently projecting or receding um, towards a background or towards the viewer. Um, and as they project or recede, um, there is a distortion that happens in order to make them appear lifelike. For instance, this is the clearest area of, right here is the very clearest area of foreshortening. Uh, if I take my color tool here, maybe my yellow, I'll use my thick marker. This little spot right here is a very significant area of foreshortening. If you were to look at this area um, with the paper laid out or from a different angle, it would appear very long, right? It's actually as long as the piece next to it. But because I'm looking head on at it and it's going straight down, it becomes foreshortened. So when I go to draw this piece of paper, instead of drawing it be, being very, very long, I need to look at what I actually see, which is really this very small little section here. Some other areas of foreshortening are happening here. This is a less extreme version of foreshortening. But right here, this angle is also going down and appears to be shorter than it really is because of the angle that I'm looking at the work at. So when you draw, record what you really see versus um, what you think it should look like. And you will be amazed at the realism that you're able to achieve. So when I go to draw this, it's going to be drawn as almost a tiny little blip getting smaller, right? Some other things to pay attention to is um, the negative space. So if I look here, I can see I have this uh, very sharp kind of V happening here in my negative space. Also, I notice that the fold happens at about halfway through the composition. So I should pay attention to that as I'm drawing. Note that, hey, this is where I need to start my fold. Also notice how close the edges come to the edge of the paper as a helpful um, indicator of where things should go. Another uh, place I noticed too is here. You can see that this paper comes about halfway down, right? It takes up quite a bit more space than I might initially think when I'm drawing it. As I'm drawing the folds in the paper, even though this is curled over, because I'm looking straight at it, I'm gonna use a different color pen here, it almost comes out as more of a straight line right? I mean, it's obviously at an angle, but you don't see too much curl. There's ever, ever so slight of a curl on the edge there, but this line is really not a very curly line, even though the shape is curled over. And here you get a little bit of curl on the edge. But really the line that this follows is it's at an angle, but it is not really curling at all, like a circle. Whereas if you looked at the shape from the side, you would see far more of a curl but notice that you do see the curl here and then it comes straight down. You also get this kind of V happening here. So as I was drawing, I would pay attention to that space as well. Uh, this shape is a bit easier to draw because it doesn't have uh, really as much foreshortening happening, though there is a bit happening here. And again, I just urge you to pay attention to the silhouettes that are created as well as the negative space moving around the piece.